up guys talking to spirits laughing with ghost here to do your daily reading see what we have going on what messages come out for you all right as always smash hawk that like on this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit that notification bell be notified of any new videos all right hope everybody's doing great on this saturday i have been quite lazy relaxing rejuvenating you know a bit exhausted from this past week so let's see we're ready for february we got the new layout hope you guys like that we got the nails done check all right what do we want to start off with today Let's do Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What do we have going on for you guys? What messages come out? Ooh. Taurus, Virgo. One more shuffle. Using three decks today. You know. That's what I feel like doing, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, Taurus, let's see what we have. We have Peace and Healing. Okay, we have the Star card. We also have Logic and Justice. Alright? You also have You Deserve Love. You are lovable. Okay? So, you might be healing from a broken heart. You know, maybe a broken friendship. Um, things of that nature. There is logic and there will be justice behind this. Again, you are healing from this situation. Okay? You also have priorities. You understand that paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. All right? So that's kind of a message from the universe to you that you need to start manifesting that love back in. All right? I kind of feel like maybe you're self-doubting yourself. Um, you know, you might be in your head a little bit or kind of down because of the situation that's happened. All right? If you are dealing with... Um, like court or something to that effect, like getting divorced or something, um, you're going to become stronger, all right? And you're going to get through this, you're going to get over this, but you need to remember that no matter what happens or what happened, you deserve love, all right? So keep your priorities in check, all right, Taurus? Virgo, you have collaboration and productivity of the three of crystals, all right? You also have perspective and self-empowerment. Okay, so you need to um, basically like lift yourself up like your visions or your ideas are not bad ones. Okay, and you could be working with somebody as well, but you need to be more productive about what you're doing. Stop self-doubting yourself um, on this. You also have love yourself first. Check it out. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. So for whatever reason, you're doubting this whole situation and you need to work on that. The message for you is transformation. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. All right. So you're going through a transformation um, phase in your life. Okay. And you need to work on yourself as a whole. All right. That's the message that's coming from the universe. All right. Love yourself first and then everything else will come into play. Okay, Virgos. Capricorn, you have abundance and beauty of the empress. Okay, I mean the empress. Hello. 
And then you also have willpower and creation. You have the magician card. All right. So you have the willpower to do whatever it is that you're wanting to do. You have a lot of things coming into play for you. You have money coming into play as well. All right. You need to keep pushing towards those goals that you've set for yourself, Capricorn. You have make the effort. Okay, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. All right, so keep on pushing towards that goal to make it happen. You also have acceptance. You're ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. All right, so what's gonna, it's all gonna flow together. You just gotta keep pushing through, put a little bit more, excuse me, effort into this, whether it be a relationship or, you know, work related, things of that nature. All right, you need to make the effort on this. All right, and accept what is, what was, and what's going to be. Again, guys, these are just general readings. So if they resonate with you, awesome. If they don't, check back with me. You know, these readings aren't for everybody because they're general. All right, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Scorpio and Pisces today. All right, Cancer. <clears throat> All right, Cancer. You have the Queen of Feathers. You have perception and truth. That's going to be coming out. Okay, you have determination and stamina. You also have the deception card. All right? So the truth is about to come out of somebody who is going to basically be backstabbing you. All right? You need to work on just kind of letting that go. Prepare yourself. Something is going to happen. Um... You know, it could be friend, could be at work, could be your lover, whatever it may be. You have deception coming out, okay? Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, all right? So the truth is going to come out about this. I feel like, I kind of feel like it's work-related, all right? But you're going to come out on top of this. You just need to make sure that you keep that determination and that stamina going, all right? Because it's like they're going to lie about something. Try to blame something on you. Okay? You also have virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. Alright? Great message um, for cancer. Scorpio. You have power and perseverance. The nine of acorns. Okay? You also have the seven of crystals. Options and results. Alright? So, right now, you it's almost like you're at... I don't really want to say a crossroads. But, like, you have all these... Um, new opportunities coming, okay, and you kind of don't know which way to go, you know, like what to start on first, all right, you're going to start seeing results though of what you've been working on so hard for, all right, it is going to come, you are going to come out on top on this, so just kind of keep patient and keep working towards it, you also have forgiving and learning, Jesus, somebody's burning rubber out there, I don't know if you guys heard that, um, forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. All right. So you need to forgive, move past it. Don't hold a grudge on anything. It's going to hold you back from your work and what you're working towards. All right. And if that is a relationship as well, you know, you just have to learn to forgive. Don't hold grudges. Scorpios tend to hold grudges. All right. Just move past it. There's always a lesson to be learned. You also have individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Powerful card great card always be you you know don't follow in other people's footsteps do what you want to do kind of thing 
All right. Pisces. You have the Tower card, okay? To release. You have the Traveler, Adventure, and Potential. All right? So you could be going into... Um, um, what do I want to say? You could be going on a trip, all right? You need to release a lot of this that's been built up. You coming into a new beginning, a new phase, things are going to kind of be crumbling down is what it feels like. So you need to kind of release all of that tension that's built up. And if you need to go on vacation or, you know, go do something for yourself, you need to do that, Pisces. And I feel like this has been going on for a little while. So you still need to work on that. You also have reconciliation. Some of your past is returning to your life. All right. So watch out for that with the tower card coming out. You know, I just feel like in this situation, they were in your past for a reason. All right. You should probably just leave it like that and move, move forward. All right. Um, you know, there is, you know, you could have potential there, but I just, I just feel like it's not, it's going to be like the same song, right? As the last time. You also have commitment. You dedicated yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. If you're in a relationship right now, maybe watch out for somebody coming into your life that's in your past trying to screw up that relationship. All right? It may have you feeling a certain type of way. Okay? Pisces, you have a lot of things that are going to be coming at you. All right? And, you know, with that tower card, you need to watch out because it's not going to be in your favor, you know? So you need to watch out. Hold yourself together. People are in your past for a reason. All right? Don't forget that. Gosh, I can't believe that person was burning rubber out there like it's nut. Um, like, hello, I'm trying to do a video here, people. Uh, fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's get a message. All right, Aries. Okay, you have the Ten of Shells, blessings and well being. Okay, you also have the Five of Crystals, persistence and new possibilities coming into play you may be coming over being sick all right or you may be coming into some money something like that like something that brings joy to you um or that you just feel better is coming into play here you also have new possibilities that are coming out for you you have calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together all right you could be meeting somebody new that'll be coming into play i feel like it'll be you know in the next week or two all right <coughs> excuse me um yeah, because you just have, it's like you, you got your, you're so, you got yourself like back balanced, right? And now it's time for you to receive, you know, good things, positive things, good juju, right? You had the persistence, you have new possibilities coming, you're going to meet somebody, all right? And if you're already in a relationship and this doesn't pertain to you, then you have new things coming into play as well, all right? But I just feel like you have been working on yourself, or if you haven't been working on yourself, you need to, all right? Make yourself whole again, you know, with your diet, things like that, okay? You can feel better. You also have cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results. Meaning, if you put out negative about meeting somebody or even being in a relationship, you know, then that is going to manifest. So you need to cancel out those thoughts and put positive in, you know? Think of the good things, Think of positive things, all right, to make to make positive things happen. 
Leo, you have mental clarity and you're laying a foundation. You have the Ace of Feathers come out. You also have the Four of Crystals, soul searching, reevaluation. Okay, so for you, Leo, you are, um, um, I feel like you're um, like making new plans for your life, like reevaluating everything. Should I be with this person? Should I not be with this person? Do I like my job? Do I not like my job? Do I like where I live? Do I not like where I live? You're reevaluating every type of situation in your life right now. And that's good. Okay? And it's not bad. It's good. Okay? You have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right? What is it that you truly love to do? Do you love going to your job? Do you have a different job offer? Do you love living where you are? Okay? Or do you not? You know, things to that nature. What is it that you want? What is it that you love that makes you happy? That's what you need to go go with to reevaluate and to lay a new foundation. So you're happy. You have patience. You are able to let the universe energy, universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. All right? So reevaluate. Think about what you really want, Leos. And have patience. Manifest that. And then eventually, you know, it'll happen. Sagittarius. All right, you have the four of feathers. You need rest, foresight, exploration, three of acorns. Um, I feel like, Sagittarius, I feel like you're up in somebody's business is what's, like, coming to mind. Like, you're in somebody's business. is exhausting. You're worried about what everybody else is doing instead of what you're doing, and you're not focusing on what's important. Like, you're focused on, like, nonsense. Okay, you have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Instead of being so negative, be positive. Express your love about anything. It doesn't even have to be in a relationship, but I feel like you're in a really negative state right now. <clears throat> and that's what's wearing you down and why you feel so tired. It's absorbing your energy. It's just taking your energy, draining it. Okay, because it's just negative. So change your thought process around. You also have peacefulness. You recognize that balance, kindness, and love bring calmness to your soul. All right? Perfect card to get with this. You guys need to change your mindset. All right. Last but not least, air signs. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Gemini, February 2nd. <clears throat> okay, Aquarius, you have happiness and abundance. You also have challenge and growth. Five of acorns, ace of shells. All right, what you're going through right now is you're going to be finally happy. Like, it's coming into play, okay, but you need, you're growing as well. All right. And I mean that spiritually, you know, you're growing as a person, you're growing up from the soul, you know, inside of yourself. And you're going to be finally coming into this happiness and abundance and, you know, good things are going to be happening to you. You've been going through kind of a rough patch um, for some time, but it is now it's you're, you're working on growth. And once you get past this challenge, OK, recovering or whatever that may be, you're going to start to grow. All right. That's going to lead into happiness and abundance for you. Okay, you also have new love coming into play. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so keep that in mind. Once you grow and once you finally get, you know, whole with yourself and happy, you know, in your life, somebody new is going to come into play. Okay, you also have empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. 
all right? Great message to get from the universe, all right? Always make sure that you're nice to people, you give them good advice, you know, you're not mean to people, things like that, but you really take in um, their emotions, okay? So don't let their emotions affect you, all right? Learn to release that as well. If somebody's venting to you or something like that. Libra, you have dedication and progress, the eight of crystals. You also have choice and ambitions, okay? You're going to have some choices that you have to make, kind of like a fork in the road, right? Check out his um, claws, okay? Do I go this way or do I go that way, all right? Whichever way that you choose to do at the end, it's going to be progress, okay? You're going to have your answer to this. You have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So if somebody's in control of your life and you're kind of sick of it, you're at a crossroad and you need to free yourself from the situation unless you want to stay and, you know, it be the same, all right? You also have acceptance. You're ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. So you need to release yourself from this situation, this toxic situation, and accept it, okay? It'll be in your best interest to do that. Um, Gemini's, you have foresight, exploration, Okay, exploration. Three of acorns. You also have the strength card, courage and endurance. Okay, right now you're also trying to find yourself. You're also trying to find courage. Okay, you're doubting yourself. You're questioning a lot of things in your life. And you're going to get there. You need to work on your strength, work on yourself. Okay, you're going to have, um, um, you're probably questioning a lot of things in your life too. All right, but you have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, okay? So you need to get to know yourself first before you can know somebody else, if that makes sense, all right? You need to work on yourself first before you can work on, say, a relationship, all right? Or work on relationships at work or friendships, things like that. What's coming out is you need to work on yourself. You also have cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change and the foundation of your results, all right, so if you're thinking negative, negative is going to happen. It's going to manifest. All right, if you're thinking positive, positive things are going to happen. They're going to manifest. So work on that Gemini's. All right, guys, we got through all the readings. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. As always, it's a pleasure. Sorry I didn't have one up yesterday, but hey, we do what we can do. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell button, all right, for new videos. For all of you that have super chatted me in the past, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You guys don't know how much that means to me, okay? They're never expected at all, so I can't thank you enough, you know. It's just, it's just wonderful. It's just wonderful. So I hope that you guys have a great Saturday, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for our weekly card draw. And I'll try to get a weekly, uh, or a Sunday reading up as well, alright? Later.